All right, we're getting into a little bit of geometry today. And of course, I have a thing pop up in the middle of my introduction. Let's go. All right, so we're talking about parallel lines in a coordinate plane. Now, the coordinate plane is the x, or is the x and y things, and these would be parallel lines. So any two non-vertical lines are parallel if they have the same slope. That's very important. So we're going to be working with slopes today. Any vertical lines are also parallel because they have the same slope as well. Moving on. Perpendicular lines in the coordinate plane. Any two non-vertical lines are perpendicular if the product of their slope is negative 1. That is, they are opposite reciprocals of each other. So if I have, let's say, 1 half, to get my, I, I would have to multiply it by negative 2, which would be technically 2 over 1, which would go to negative 2 over 2, which would equal negative 1. So if I want to take this number one half and get its op or and get its opposite reciprocal, I have to flip it and times it by negative one. That's how I would get that. So you'd flip it, so it'd be two over one and times it by negative one. Parallel lines at a given point. So write in slope intercept form. An equation for the line that passes through this point and is, a par is parallel to the graph of this line. So technically I have a thing like this and it's at something negative 7, I think. I don't know, probably the wrong number there. And it's going to be a, a, a 2 over 1, two, or up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2 kind of thing. So it's going to be like this. And we need another one that passes through the point for 2. Well, this is just point slope form stuff here. So a line parallel to this has the same slope. So we steal the slope from this equation and we take the point that they gave us and we know that they want it in slope intercept form. So we're gonna use point slope form because that's what we have. We have a point and a slope. So we're gonna put those numbers in. We're gonna replace M or the slope with one half. We're gonna replace Y and X. Make sure you don't switch those by accident. Then we're going to simplify them if we can. So we're simplifying the ne double negative. Sometimes it'll be over here. Sometimes it'll be over here. Sometimes it'll be both. Then we're going to distribute. Don't freak out about the, these things here because if you multiply one half times a negative four, it's technically negative four over one, which is going to be four over two negative, which will come out to negative two. Don't freak out. You're just multiplying across if you need to. So if you need to write it out next to it, that's fine. So then subtract two from both sides because we need to get y by itself. And now we're in slope intercept form, which is what they were asking for in the first place. So technically we have a line that goes negative seven, goes up two over one, goes like this. So this one's at negative four and I'm going like that. Technically it's over done. Pause this, give it a shot. All right, so same concept. We're going to steal this, put these two in it, and make it in slope-intercept form. So point-slope form, because we have a point and a slope, it's going to be y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. So we take our points, so y minus 2 equals 1 half x minus, oh, sorry, 3. I just did the switch and then two and distribute and two over two is one so negative one because positive to negative negative one y minus three plus three plus three will give me y equals one half x plus two which is letter c Moving along. All right, are these lines perpendicular or not? All right, trapezoid ARTP. When you see, are they perpendicular? RT and AP are the bases and EZ. Yeah, it's not that easy. Uh, can be used to, for the height of the trapezoid. Can that be used? And that why they're making you do that because you don't know geometry yet. So. But regardless, basically you just need to know, are they perpendicular? You don't really need to worry about, can it be used for height or not? Okay, so in geometry terms, when you have two letters, 
with a line over it that represents line AB. So it's line RT. So that would be R to T. And then A to P would be the other one that we're looking at. And then EZ is the third one that they're talking about. Is that perpendicular to that? Well, we can probably just look at it and say it's probably not, but we need to prove it regardless. All right, find the slope of each segment. Oh, the picture's not there. Okay, uh, so the slope of RT, I'm just gonna pop all three of these up here so you can see it. So the slope of RT should be from here to here. This looks like it's negative one comma one, which would be these two points. And then negative five, negative three, that would be these two points. So they put it into point slope form. You guys should already know how to do that. When you multiply it out, it gives me a slope of one. Same thing for A to P, it comes out with a slope of one. Again, they just took that point and that point. The slope of E to Z is from here to here. So negative three, negative one, that would be that point. And then Z would be negative eight, negative two. So that would come out to negative seven. That is not the negative reciprocal. So if I have multiplied one times negative seven, that comes out to negative seven. It has to equal negative one. If it doesn't equal negative one, it is not going to be, and that's the way to show it algebraically. Yeah, we could look on here and see, you're gonna to have to show it algebraically most of the time. So the slope of AP, RT and AP is one, the slope is negative seven, uh, these two times each other do not equal a, a negative one, therefore it is not particular, and I'm assuming you can't use it for whatever they were asking for, which was measuring the height. Pause this, give it a shot. All right, so we take our two points, we need, let's see, oh man, another one that doesn't look good, so this line should be here and here, I don't know why they're over there. So determine whether JL is perpendicular to KM. So I need to have one slope times the other slope needs to equal negative one. So I need to find the slope of each one. So I need J to L, which looks like this way, and M to K, which is this way. So I'm gonna label them out. Looks like this is gonna be two, and then this is one, just cause it's higher up. So Y2 is gonna be six minus Y1, which is one x2 is 2, y2 is 6, so that's going to be a 5 over negative 4 for one direction. Going the other way, let's, go on, let's call this one 2 and this one 1, so 6 and 6 minus 1 and minus 2, so that's going to equal 5 over 4. That looks pretty close, so let's multiply them out. Five over four, negative. So negative times five over four equals 25 over 20. That is not a negative one, so therefore it is not perpendicular to Km. All right, a perpendicular line through a given point. So they're gonna give us a line and they want it to be perpendicular. So write a slope intercept form, so there's what their, our goal is, slope intercept form of an equation that passes through the line here and is perpendicular to this given line. So first we need to find the slope of that given line, so we're gonna have to put this into y equals mx plus b. So we take the original equation, subtract seven x from both sides, simplify that out. Then we're gonna divide both sides by negative two, and then we're gonna simplify that out. Okay, so the only thing we really need from this is the slope in the middle here. So we can take that slope and to find a perpendicular line, make sure you know if it's perpendicular or parallel, don't, miss, don't mix that little detail up. So we need to take a negative reciprocal of it. So seven over two, we flip it, times it by negative one. So if we flip it, times it by negative one, comes out to two, negative two over seven. So we're gonna use point slope form to find that equation. So we have a point and we have a slope. So the point they gave us way back earlier, which you'd have to look back at the original equation, was four and negative one, or the question, and the slope of negative two. Punch those into my equation here. Simplify it first, which is just simplifying the positives over here, or the negatives. Then we're going to distribute. Remember, don't freak out when it's multiplying a fraction because it's negative two over seven times four over one. You just have to multiply across, multiply across. 
which is going to equal 8 over 7. So don't freak out when it's multiplication and fractions. Okay, from there, we're going to subtract 1 from both sides. So all I did was take 8 over 7 minus 7 over 7. And I can subtract 8 there. It comes out to 1 7 because the denominators are the same. Just for a quick review on fractions, adding and subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. There we go. Moving on. So the equation of the line comes out to this. Pause this. Give it a shot. All right, I've gotten on way too many tangents today. Moving along here. So we're going to take the original equation, find the slope, put it into the point slope form, and come out with a y equals mx plus b slope intercept form thing. So we'll start over here. Let's go 3x plus 2y equals 6. So we subtract 3x from both sides. I'm going to swap these two after I do this. So 2y equals, I'm going to call it negative 3x plus 6, just to make life easier. Sorry, it's a terrible negative sign. Then we're going to divide by 2. Divide by 2, those cancel. y equals negative 3 over 2x plus, see, 6 divided by 2 is 3. All right, so now I take my slope here. And is it perpendicular or parallel? It says perpendicular. So I take this negative 3 over 2. I'm going to flip it times it by a negative 1. So it's going to be 2 over 3, positive. So I take that, that number and these, put it into y minus y1 is 6, equals 2 thirds, and then x minus a minus 3. So we simplify first, so 2 thirds x plus 3. I'm going to distribute 2 over 3x. We're going to multiply those out really quick. 2 over 3 times 3 over 1 goes to 6 over 3, which equals 2. So, and it's positive. We're going to bring those down. I'm going to add 6 to both sides. I don't know why it's doing that on me today. 2x plus Eight, which is letter D. All right, trying to keep this under 15 minutes. Let's move it. Write a slope intercept form for an equation of a line that's perpendicular to the graph and passes through this point. So we're going to have to do basically the exact same thing. This last one, though, uh, is of a line. Yeah, it's the same exact thing. Perpendicular line to a given point. Write in slope intercept form, y equals m plus b, an equation that is perpendicular to the graph of this line. It passes through 0, 6. Oh, there's even a 0 in it. That'll make it nice. So you find the slope. So we reorganize this one to y equals mx plus b. So we subtract 5x from both sides, simplify that out. So all they do when they said simplify is they swapped these two after they were done to make it easier because that's closer to the form. Divide both sides by 2. Simplify that out. So, and it said they wanted a perpendicular line, so we have to find the perpendicular line by getting the opposite reciprocal. So, five or, negative 5 over 2 would be 2 fifths. So, we're going to substitute that, that slope and the point that you had us at the beginning into a point slope form, because we have a point and a slope, therefore we use point slope. Point slope form. Substitute in the slope and the numbers that they wanted. Yay, well, there's a zero. And we're going to distribute, and they actually skipped a step because they distributed it to here. That gave me this one, and they skipped it, the plus 6 on both sides. And that gives me an equation of y equals 2 fifths x plus 6. And there might have been another question there. You can try it if you want to. I highly recommend it, but this is keeping a 15-minute video.